Hello everyone, welcome to Color by Felix. Thank you for being here. We're gonna go straight to it and I'll go over the materials needed for today. We need uh, 18 by 24 inch canvas and it's all pre-gessoed and ready to go. And I'm gonna use my Color by Felix 24 set of acrylics and I'll show you which colors I'll be using from the set. And then um, you can see all these colors here. It really doesn't matter which color you're gonna need, but, and then from the five set, I'm gonna use titanium white and carbon black. Of course, we need some water and my Color by Felix M1 blending brushes, two of them. And then my zero detail brush and of course a palette knife. We need palette paper and uh, I was able to design my own palette paper. It saves a lot of time, I love it, and um, we're gonna need something like that today. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much all ready. Of course, we need some paper towels to wipe down your palette knife. Let's get to it. So I just picked up my titanium white and I'm gonna make about, you can see a little bit, two thumbs amount of white. And I'm gonna make about like four piles and each time I'm going a little bit less as you could see I mean adding white a little bit less so then I'm gonna pick up my Viridian one the color from the 24 set and then add a little bit a touch on my first one a little more on the second one and then we need Scarlet and I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here just a little bit and then a little more here and now I'm gonna quickly mix everything with my palette knife you can see the colors we want the colors to have a nice transition so once I'm done I'm gonna clean out my palette knife so that paint won't dry up and set it down and then we're gonna put our water jar next to our canvas where we're gonna be painting and then I'm gonna pick up one of my blending brushes right and then I'm gonna dab it in the water all the way and squeeze part of it out not all the water out see it's there's some water in there but it's not a lot of water okay so it's not dripping so then I'm gonna pick up my lightest color okay and then I'm going to start from the bottom so I'm gonna just cover the whole canvas and what I'm gonna do is have my water next to me and I always like before I pick up more paint I dab my brush in the water and then I pick up more paint and so that's what I'll be doing for each color so I'm every time I'm picking up more paint I'm making sure I have some water in my brush so that the paint could stay wet longer and this is usually a quick process um, so once you quickly lay out your colors I'm gonna pick up my second blending brush and I'm gonna work dry and blend everything in nicely and once that's done I'm gonna dry it out or and clean my brushes and uh, make sure my background is fully dry and now we have a dry background and my brushes are clean now I'm gonna pick up my serline blue and create a couple piles you know um, wherever I want them not too big of a pile you know like maybe half a thumb amount and then emerald green I'm gonna put it right on top and this is really the fun part because it really doesn't really matter how much you uh, put or which color you want to use. It's totally up to you. So this is the fun part. I'm going to pick up my palette knife and then make sure your palette knife is bendable. And you just smack it like that. That's all it is to it. Just smack it. And um, the harder you smack, obviously, the, you know, the bigger the, you know, your, your flower spreads. Um, so we're making these like kind of like these cool colorful abstract kind of flowers so I just uh, added some orange and then um, I'm gonna put some yellow again doesn't matter which color you want to um, use totally up to you and I'm gonna be doing the same thing so I'm gonna pick up my palette knife again and smack it like that and that creates a cool you know creates a nice texture colorful interesting looking you know flowers so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, add where all my colors that I wanna use, you know, mix them up, add the blues, the purples from my 24 set and just have fun with um, this process. And once I have all my flowers on my canvas, you could can see, um, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, let it dry. Um, you don't need to, you know, usually acrylics dry fast, so you don't need to uh, worry too much about it fully drying but um, you know once I feel like it's 
kind of dry, then I'll use my detail brush and with water and detail brush, I dab my, you know, the detail brush in the water and swirl it onto my paint to get a thin, nice, you know, so that they can run smoothly and create nice, like straight lines, right? So water helps um, for it to run smoothly. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch out my, you know, the where I want my, the, where the flowers I want them to be, right? So basically I'm just adding, going over and making them um, go in any direction I feel that it would look good. So I'm gonna sketch that out real quick. All the materials I'm using are available at colorbyfelix.com if you're interested. And I also wanted to let you guys know, if you want to be the first ones to know when I release a full step-by-step -step lesson, uh, be sure to sign up to my newsletter. I announce everything that's new coming up on there. Uh, I'll link it down below for you guys. And, um, and then, uh, yeah, you'll be the first ones to know. Let's continue sketching. All right, so now once I'm done, I'm gonna go over the same process with the detail brush and I mixed my yellow and white. So I'm creating highlights so that my, you know, they can, the flowers can stand out a little more. So just adding a few more details and once I'm done, basically the painting is finished. I sign my name and basically here you have it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's a simple one. I believe anyone can do this. Um, and again, I appreciate you being here. And also I attached a free ebook on how to blend and work with acrylics down below. If you're interested, you could download it for free. It, there, you know, it's down below. So be sure to stay tuned for more and see you guys next time. Take care and God bless.